And welcome back to The Red Booth Show. I'm here with director and artiste, Dean Carr, who is amazing. I can't believe uh, the stuff that you've done. It's so cool. So, well, it's great to be here. <laughs> I lo love your show. Thank you. Yeah. So, so he was just telling me about doing the artwork for Tool um, and this giant rib cage, and somebody this was, actually created this. This was all Adam Jones, the guitarist, uh, concept. And uh, cool. I had a large studio downtown, and it, it was the perfect place to do it because the project went on for two and a half months, and we'd have little things building over here and little things going over here. Just for and a then, record album cover, just for the cut, just for the one shot. Two and a half months of, went into that. It's not always like that, but it, when it, it's like a labor of love thing, you, you put yeah. the time in. So that, so the guitarist for Tool was helping create that. Yeah, he's a super creative guy and very involved in every creative move that band's ever made from day one. Amazing. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. And I see you also did the perfect circle. Yeah, two. Yeah, we shot that up in Big Sur. Uh, this was a banana slug. We were shooting in the forest in Big Sur. And Billy Howard, the guitarist, uh, found this uh, yet bright yellow banana slug <laughs> crawling across a field of ivy, and uh, we yeah. pit it, picked it up and put it on the model's face. And that's what's made the front. Okay, yeah. and then Pantera. Yeah. Far beyond driven. Okay, so many of you probably know this album cover. It's the skull with a giant screwdriver, like going <laughs> going into the front. Well, there was. Actually, a first version of this, but Walmart said we won't. We can't use we it. We won't put that on in our store. Wow! And it was rejected by exactly Walmart. Exactly like that, but it was uh, <laughs> it was a pretty X-rated cover, honestly. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I guess that doesn't surprise me, considering Phil Anselmo. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about these music videos that you've done. So you've done a Marilyn Manson, and I'm going to show you guys uh, this amazing this shot here. Um, this was celebrating our 20 or 25th anniversary of doing Sweet Dreams, and we brought it back home. I went on to do the Antichrist Superstar album artwork, and then things got silent for a long time, and we brought it back to do this really amazing layout for Revolver. It was like wow. 12 pages, and the fans loved it because it was they'd missed us working together because us certain working style. together was the best. Manson there was. Oh, mm -hmm. This is so cool. Oh. You're like the creative genius behind all this stuff. I love it. Wow. Okay, You're okay. good for the ego. <laughs> okay, and then he's also worked with Slash. This was for a Velvet Revolver video. I've worked with Guns N' Roses many times, and I've done maybe four videos for Velvet Revolver, who's mm -hmm. Scott Weiland. Yeah. As you know, was a singer and passed away maybe. Yeah, geez, Scott Weiland. Probably four years ago. Yeah, that was very sad. But uncanny how much he looks like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I, I, he does. I mean, he does. It's the he does. eyes. I was saying that earlier. The eyes like, and the that? thin face and it. He yeah, does look like Clint Eastwood. It's crazy. And Velvet Revolver is obviously one of those like mega bands where it's like all these artists from different um, bands together. Well, uh, you know, that's Guns N' Roses right there, and that's Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah, it's true. But uh, I'm glad to see G and R back together, and their live thing has just been crushing it they they're back and they're getting along and it makes me very happy that is very cool because um yeah i remember once at inland invasion they weren't on stage yet and we were like where's guns mm -hmm. and roses yeah oh look okay so can you tell us what about this one uh this i just put a tag on just to show the depth of what i do i don't just do rock bands i do hip-hop i do country i work with willie nelson and shooter jennings um Stevie Nicks, obviously Dave Matthews Band, I've done four videos with him, yeah. but this was T-Pain. This, this was the most expensive photo shoot I've ever done in my life yeah. because his, his demands were so over the top. He had all this clothing made custom. Uh, we bought a, a hearse and he had it painted the same candy orange. Wow. Um, and we had an elephant <laughs> and you know how you wrap a car? Yeah. Like you get a car wrap to yeah. advertise. He wanted to wrap the elephant. And we're like, you can't, paint, really you can't that. wrap an elephant. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> there was just, it was, it was really over the top. It's a very shoot. elaborate shoot, obviously. But they were ready to pay. I'm sure he paid them back for it, too. Wow. Wow. And a lot of the okay, stuff. Okay, and then there's corn. Yeah, yeah. 
So this is, you've done some of, well, tell us about one of the music videos you did for Corn. This was uh, just recently, it was called uh, Rotting in Vain. Mm -hmm. We shot it in an old bordello downtown. It was the most amazing locations. It was two thin hallways and just knock, knock rooms on both sides. Just like, <laughs> it was the best location. I'd but you've done a couple videos with Corn, haven't you? I did a photo shoot with them in 94 for the first album. Oh, That's okay, so cool. that's what it was. But uh, that oh, Corn one was up for a Grammy Award. Um, the year we did that, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Okay, okay. Guys, I'm so excited. There's so many people here to Aww. talk about. Okay, Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks is one of my idols. I used to play her music all the time. I have all her, I had all of their old albums, actually. She's just one of the coolest divas ever. I mean, so talented and beautiful. She's gorgeous. Okay, well, we have to take another break. Yeah. But we'll be right back with Dean Carr. Thank you. Hey, so that was just one of our little parts of this interview with Dean Carr. Continue watching by clicking on the next video. Thanks for watching The Red Booth.